Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie join forces at heartwarming garden party. The York sisters support a number of charities alongside their full-time jobs. Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie brought joy as they attended a special garden party at Haven House Children's Hospice on Tuesday afternoon. The royal sisters took the time to speak with children, their families and staff at the hospice in Woodford Green, Essex, with the pair presented with beautiful bouquets of flowers by sisters Annabelle and Eva Thomas upon arrival. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon, so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. In a video posted by Eugenie on Instagram, she shared, Today I was so lucky to visit Haven House Hospice with my sister. Haven House Children's Hospice in Woodford Green, London, fund specialist care to children who have life-limiting or life-threatening conditions. It was so incredible to see the caring work they do and meet some of the children and families whose lives are changed by the care and support they receive here. In the montage, Beatrice, wearing a floral print navy airdem dress, and Eugenie, sporting a burgundy patterned frock, can be seen engaging with children and planting a tree. Beatrice, 36, praised the hospice in a heartwarming address, saying, this hospice is a beacon of love and support for so many families. The compassion and care provided here is truly inspiring, and it is a privilege to be part of this special day. Eugenie, 34, added, seeing the strength and resilience of the children and their families today has been deeply moving. This hospice not only provides vital care but also creates a space where joy and laughter can flourish, even in the most challenging times. During their joint outing, the princesses also planted a commemorative tree in the hospice's garden, which is also home to an arboretum of more than 100 trees planted by notable public figures, including Margaret Thatcher and Sir Winston Churchill. Beatrice and Eugenie's tree will stand alongside a hazel tree that was gifted to the hospice from their late grandmother Queen Elizabeth II to mark her platinum jubilee in 2022. Haven House Chief Executive Ralph Colbeck said of the Royal Sisters' visit, We are incredibly honoured to welcome Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie to our hospice. Their commitment to supporting children's causes is truly inspiring, and their visit today has brought so much joy. The tree they planted will be a lasting symbol of hope and resilience for everyone who comes to our gardens. The garden party was a perfect way to say thank you to our supporters, it was a wonderful event and heartening to see so many of our children and families celebrating with us. The charity provides, day care, overnight stays, end-of-life care and bereavement support, as well as life-enriching activities such as sensory play, music therapy, yoga and physiotherapy, helping families create happy memories. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are causing a huge worry to senior members of the royal family as they grow closer to Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, a royal expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been estranged from the firm ever since their sensational exit and move to America in 2020. Just last month, Harry's tumultuous relationship with the royals was said to be apparent during a memorial service for his late uncle. Lord Robert Fellows in Norfolk, after he and older brother Prince William reportedly exchanged no words. Royal author Tom Quinn has already spoken about how Harry and Meghan's alliance with the York sisters could raise concerns within the Prince and Princess of Wales's household by telling the mirror, for William and Kate an alliance between Harry and Meghan and Beatrice and Eugenie is a huge worry. They sense that Beatrice and Eugenie feel that, as virtual outcasts themselves, they have far more in common with Harry and Meghan than with any other part of the family. The situation is made worse by the fact that the senior royal's main asset, Kate herself is effectively out of action while she continues her treatment for cancer. However, this summer saw Beatrice and Eugenie both supporting the royals at public events, like the Buckingham Palace Garden Party and Royal Ascot, with sources claiming that they've firmly pledged their allegiance to the royal family, and that they haven't communicated with the Sussexes for quite a while. The royal family were cautioned by a tax expert over Prince Harry's US citizenship, 
as it could be a dagger in the heart for the firm's finances. Prince Harry has been living in America since 2020, after he and wife Meghan Markle stepped down as senior working royals, however, it is not known what visa the royal is on. However, he is entitled to apply for a green card through his marriage to Meghan, which would make him a permanent resident in the US for tax purposes, with his worldwide income being taxed in the US, rather than the UK. However, that would mean that he would also have to disclose aspects of the royal family's finances to the US government. Now, a tax expert said that the royals will want Harry to stay on a diplomatic visa, A1, as both parties would benefit from it. Clayton Cartwright told the Mail, the royal family wants him to stay on the A1. I think they have common ground wanting him to stay on an A1. If he's consulted tax advisors then he will be staying on an A1. The A1 is his golden ticket. If he's on an A1 he can sit here, in the US, forever. The US would not care. He added, the US has a foreign policy interest in not triggering US tax residency for diplomats. It is good diplomatic practice. It keeps things private to Great Britain, not just the foreign assets Prince Harry owns, but also other assets of the royal family on which he is listed. The expert said that if Harry were to get a green card or US citizenship, he would have to disclose the interest in his trusts to the US Internal Revenue Service. He explained, doubtless they're saying spare him from a green card, that's a tax dagger in the heart of the royal family. All that entanglement that probably exists between the royal family and his finances would be subject to disclosure. If you said you weren't going to disclose it because it's the royal family there would be huge blowback. But he also noted there would be financial downsides if the Duke is on a diplomatic visa, as he wouldn't be able to benefit from tax breaks. He said, Prince Harry will not be able to file jointly with his spouse and take advantage of married filing jointly tax rate brackets. The royal is said to receive a multi-million pound payout on his birthday later this month, September 15, from a family trust fund set up by the late Queen Mother when he was 10 years old. If he is on a diplomatic visa the money from the trust would be taxed in the UK, but if he is on a green card it would be considered worldwide income and he would have to be taxed in the US. Immigration experts have previously suggested that Harry could be on a rare A1 head of state visa, which is used by heads of state and royal family members since he is fifth in line to the throne. The A1 head of state visa is different to the A1 visa, given to senior diplomats, as A1 head of state visa holders are free to enter the US without working as heads of state or royal family members. The outlet added that the Duke could also be on an O1 visa, which is a temporary non-immigrant visa for foreign nationals with extraordinary ability. However, it has never been confirmed which type of visa Harry applied for.